team like Kyrie and KD Or the Lake Show with King James and AD Wish I could match him up with the bad boys from the 80s But no black and white, I need that in HD Yeah, dog. Yo, what's good y'all? It's your boy Ant Hand Dog and we back to it. You know how we do it. Bird Gang, Bird Gang, where y'all at, man? Part of the Bird Gang, write something in the comments right now. And don't even don't even finish watching the video. Just do hashtag Bird Gang in the comments right now so I can see y'all. I always love doing my videos for the Bird Gang, man. And we got another one! I've never reacted to this video either. It's a 30-minute video. So we're gonna break it into either two or three videos, probably two videos. Yeah, we'll break it into two videos. So, yeah. Larry Bird during his prime though. 1986, I hear that this was the greatest team ever assembled. And maybe it was just because Larry Bird was in his prime, like, I don't know, but I hear that this 1986 Boston Celtics team is one of the best teams ever. So write in the comments on how you feel about that. Is it is it true with Robert Parrish and Kevin McHale and Bill Warden? Uh, who was else on that team? Dennis Johnson. Like, yeah, I had some hoopers, but also Larry Bird was in his prime too. So it made that team look very, very good. But before we get into it, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. You right there that's watching. If you're watching this video and you're not subscribed yet, what are you doing? Go ahead and just hit the subscribe button. You can pause the video. Hit the subscribe button and then come back and push play. Go ahead and like this video if you like it. And go ahead and write something in the comments. Where does Larry Bird rank all time? I always ask this question. I have to because I always want to hear the different opinions on is he the GOAT? Is he top three? Is he top ten? Like, let me know in the comments where do you rank Larry Bird all time. But let's get into this. I'm actually excited for this video because it's gonna be a lot of like highlights like it's not gonna be like you know legends talking or interviews it's about to be just straight Larry Bird getting to it so let's get into it we got Larry Bird was legendary during his prime 1985-86 highlights let's get it who they beat in the finals this year Houston can it be Houston Come out passing? He come out passing? I thought he was gonna come out shooting. I thought he was gonna come out like that. <laughs> That's just how great of a player he was, though. You never know what you're gonna get from Larry Bird. Oh my gosh. His best teammate ever, according to him, on any of the passing lanes. Hey! This is all one game. This is all one game. Oh my gosh. Is out there. Is going to have him hey, hey, triple threat. Bird wants it. <laughs> this man is different. I'm gonna lose it, but it don't matter. Cause I'm still gonna find that rim. Ooh, good pump fake. Good pump fake. Finding. Right back to him. Right back to him. One thing I've been noticing in my videos too is Dennis Johnson is gets a lot of easy buckets from Larry Bird. So. That's probably how I would play if I was with Larry Bird. Like, I would get a lot of easy buckets, too. I will be running the lane, doing exactly what Dennis Johnson is doing. Like, making your job easier. Like, if you got a player that that uh, dominates, not, not, not even the fact that Larry Bird dominates the ball, but just dominates the attention. He dominates the attention of the other team so much that if you run and you move it out the ball, like, you can get you an easy 15, 20 points every game just by playing off of Larry Bird. So, I think that's what Dennis Johnson was real good at. Being a guard. Interesting. Bird. Damn. Yes. Damn. He used to kill the Atlanta Hawks because he's going crazy in this game. And this wasn't even a 60 point game that he had. Takes it. Got it. Doesn't score point. Bird working on Wilkins. No. Come here, Dominique. Or is this a 60 point game? This might be the 60 point game. That's an and one. That's an and one. Larry Bird. Splash. 
Lake, Lake Show. Uh, Let's see if one gets the Lake Show. Worthy didn't bother Hina Johnson going to the scorer's table. Larry Bird to McCann. Oh, well, was this the year they beat the Lakers in the finals? I'm tripping. I said Houston. Bird with a great pass on the drive. Yeah, the I think they might beat the Lakers this year. Late. Finding. Larry Bird oh, my gosh. gosh. The Chief. Larry Bird, three-pointer. People knew that was going in before he even shot it. That one too. You beat that wide open. You don't leave players like that wide open. Larry Bird again wide open Again wide open. Like what are they doing? One thing I've also noticed about Larry Bird is yes, he wasn't the fastest. Yes, he wasn't the the highest jumping, but he had a very quick first step. Like, if you, if you notice it, like, when he get the ball in the post and he, like, sizes you up, you know, he does his triple threat, like, he hit him, he hit everybody with a very quick first move to where after that, you don't really got to move that fast or jump that high because you already passed, the, you know, the, your, your defender. So, that's something that I noticed. So, keep an eye on that while, when we go through this. Bird. And one. Larry Bird, not an easy task. Oakland comes out to meet him, and Bird hits with 40 to go. Bird going to the bank. And he's strong, too. He wants to play that type of defense. And he's Larry strong. Larry Bird. He had the whole package for real. <laughs> like, Bird. literally the whole package. Oh, my God. He's a three-pointer. Bird has to pop out as you really, they could have called a foul. Come here, Jordan. Bird, as the clock is winding down, has to. Has so Jordan never beat him in a playoff series? Now Bird goes for three. Never. Let's go. Dunk some, Danny. Dunk that, Danny. Woolridge on Bird. Bird. A good play to get to him. A minute gone by. Bird. Pull up. Pull up. Bird on the cut. Gets away from McRae and Perry. Samson ahead to Larry Bird. Yes. Beautiful. He allowed McHale to get into position. Here it is. Make the amazing passes look simple. That was the opposite between him and Magic. Him and Magic, both great passers. But Magic will make the simple pass look crazy where he, it'll be a simple pass, you know, and he'll make it look like it was just way crazier where Larry Bird would do the opposite. It'd be a, a, an amazing pass, but Larry Bird would just make it look real simple. And that's tough. That, that was tough. Oh my God, he was he wasn't open at all. Any passion at all? We're really watching prime Larry right now. Like this is prime Larry Bird. Like I I, I like watching like specific uh, highlights like this. Like sometimes. I'll do a reaction video where it's just the whole career. And one video might be, one highlight might be him uh, as a rookie. And the very next one might be when he's uh, back, won't even, don't even work no more. So, like, it's, I like to see, like, specific. Like, this is all just one year. And this is a prime year. So, I got a question for y'all, though, before we start the video back up. Would y'all say that Larry Bird is a better shooter than Steph Curry? Like, I know that's tough. I know that stuff. Me personally, y'all gonna y'all gonna hate me for this, but I don't think there's nobody that's ever walked this earth that's a better shooter than Steph Curry. But I say that to say this: if there's one person who you know, if um, there, there's this one shot, there's one shot left, and I, I need one person to take this shot, take this three, and uh, that's it. Who would I take? I probably might go Larry Bird. I know somebody in the comments is going to do that famous Pat Riley um, quote where it was like, if I want one person to take a shot to win the game, I'll pick Michael Jordan. But if I need one player to take a shot to save my life, I'm picking Larry Bird. And I love that quote. I, I love it. So who are you taking as a shooter? Steph Curry or Larry Bird? Let me know. Johnson for the Off to Larry Bird. Uh, I think he was down before he passed that, though. Oh, that could have been a travel. Oh, my God. Dominique. 
looks at him, all with the same degree of success or lack of it. Burns and Haynes, two-man pass break. Oh my goodness. That's great basketball. It, was, it might have been a little overpassing, but no, no, that was great. That was great. That's the, that's the vet move right there. See the first step? The first step is quick, man. I'm telling you. The pass. The pass. With ten and a half minutes to play in the third quarter, Bird winds up from three. Yes. Larry Bird missed it. A lot of wasted motion there. They have tough shot out of. Hey, behind the back pull up. Rivers, Ainge back the other way, and now Bird for the Celtics fakes the pass. Bang. Now, how much Larry Bird averaging in today's game, y'all? Let's see what happens. Just imagine if Larry Bird was out here taking eight to ten threes a game. <laughs> He might average like 35 in today's game. Oh. That's a great hustle. Teaching point right here. Like, it's something that, that going to go very unnoticed that people won't even notice. But you see Larry Bird pass it up the court and saw that, hit, that Dennis Johnson was struggling. He was struggling. Like, he was falling out of bounds. And he didn't have too many options. So Larry Bird being as smart as a player as he is, he knew that he couldn't be on the other side of the half court. He had to get on the other side so that he can become an outlet for his player. And he did it. So it was crazy, you no know, crazy uh, smartness and hustle because he had to get over the half court line. And Dennis Johnson was able to get it to him and they got a bucket out of it. Look at this. Hurry got over there and then threw a dime. Then through a dime. That's just that's just being a great basketball player. That's just being a great basketball player, man. Those are two great passes too. Chief, you gotta be ready. You have to be ready playing with a guy like that. The ball will hit you right in the face if you're not. DJ be getting it. Doesn't matter if these guys' hands wasn't ready. It'd be so many times where Larry Bird would hit him and the ball would hit him right in the head. So look at that. He finished that. It's a tough finish, McKill. Mmm. Look at him. Great rebound. Great rebound. That might have been his most uh, underrated stat. Was his rebounding ability, especially. Of Larry Bird, and there he is, wide open. Oh underneath. I'm trying to talk and watch at the same time. It is actually kind of tough. But one thing that I notice all the time is how he gets his own. Uh, he gets the offensive rebound after him making the pass. So he'll make a pass. His player might miss the shot or get it blocked. But he's always that guy that's going to get that rebound. Like he just did everything for his team. Look at that. Superstar, they both be hustling like that. How many Hall of Famers was on this team, too? Let me know. That's been on his case. 1986 Celtics. How many Hall of Famers is on this team? Every play is like off an assist. I haven't seen too many just like ISO plays. Like this is all just him passing it to somebody to an immediate dunk or somebody passing to him for a layup. Like. Bird pops it and hits. Uh, the end of the third quarter. That's so tough. That also is what affects their shooting efforts. Bird just kisses it off the glass. Filet. Yes. Was Bill Warden good at this time? Was he good at this point in his career? I think he was a little bit older at this time. But playing with these guys, like, you have no choice but to be good. Like, they're playing so unselfish. Like, it's just, it's contagious to play that way when you're playing with a lot of unselfish guys. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. How do you, how do you stop that? Like, you can't move faster than the ball. There's no player that's faster than the ball. So if you're moving the ball, like, you're going to get open shots. You're going to get open shots for sure. Left.
So we didn't see buckets. We didn't see assists. We didn't see rebounds. We didn't see steals. We didn't see hustle plays. It's only been nine minutes. It's only been nine minutes, man. Like, how much more can we see? And this is all from one season. This is all from one season, man. Hey. Name something. Put something in the comments that I didn't name that we that we saw that I didn't just say right there. We seen passes, like I said, passes, buckets, steals, hustle plays, and rebounds. Like, let me know some other stuff. Post post ups, like so much stuff, man. So much. We ain't seen too much trash talking because that ain't what this video is for. I know we out there talking this shit. We just can't see it or hear it. <laughs> Larry Bird, excellent pass. Of course, he's one of the leading three-point field goal shooters. As Larry Bird hits the counter nine rebounds in the first half. Larry like, no way if he plans today's game, he's not just shooting a three right there. But it, it wasn't that big of a deal. Like, I'm going to just shoot the shot that I can get. Like, now everybody is like, you have to shoot a three. Like, you have to. Like, that's not really what Larry Bird was going for. He was like, I'm about to get buckets. Larry Bird with the left hand. I'm going to shoot my left hand. If somebody open, I'm going to pass it to him. Like, if you're going to leave me open for three, I'm going to knock that joint down every time. <laughs> Oh! That was tough. They down four. One point game. One point game. With the one point lead with four seconds. It takes a lot of shots with his left hand. Bird winds up again from downtown and he hits. They're not shooting lights out here. Bird deep in the right hand corner and gets two. Bring the Sonics back, man. Bring the Seattle Supersonics back. That would be fire. If you're from Seattle, I know you can relate to that. <laughs> or if you rock with Seattle. Okay, just leave Larry Bird wide open. Um, I don't know what that was about. They Great pass. Another thing too that I noticed about the bigs, like what same thing I was saying about Dennis Johnson was he was getting out. You know, he was finding the open spots and you know just playing off of Larry Bird, which as a guard, that's what you you know you should do. But as a big, I've been noticing it too. Kevin McHale, Robert Parrish, Bill Walton, like these bigs be getting out, and I think that just goes to show how unselfish Larry Bird is because if you're playing with a like, don't get me wrong, I love Michael Jordan, I love Kobe, like, those are my, my two goats. But, people wasn't running like that with them, because they knew they probably wasn't going to get the ball. But when you play with an unselfish superstar like that, you're going to be more um, motivated to run and to cut and do you know, different things, because you know you're going to get the ball. So, that's crazy to see the bigs even running, getting open, like, that's, that's dope. Johnson finds Bird cutting through. Beautiful job. But it was effective. Just use a lot of muscle. Bird. Boy, there's a little underhand left hand. Hey! We find out Bill Walton was athletic like that. Bird wants it. This is probably a 60 point game right here. You're too little. You're too little. Rebound, Larry Bird. And one! See the quick first step? See what I was saying, though? Like, people say he's slow, but how are you just going around people like that? Finding. Finding. The cat. I know the, uh, the Celtic fans was out there enjoying that shit. Like, the, especially the people that was in the crowd. Ah, great pass. Look at the pass, though. Like, he get it out of his hands quick. He's not just holding the ball. But I got a question, too. I got a question. How much was tickets back then? Like, I'm actually curious. So, the best team in the league, 1986 Celtics. The, they, they, I don't know. Their record was, was super good. So, by far one of the best teams in the league. So they had to have some of the most expensive tickets in the in the NBA. 
but I'm curious to see like if you ever went to a game I know I got some people on, on the channel that's a little bit older that was probably at some of these games so let me know how much a, a typical ticket costs like the nosebleed tickets and like the front row seats like I'm actually curious to see how much those tickets were Robert goes down the lane on a cut Larry comes and gets they're too little. Look at like Doc Rivers. I might have been spoiled with it. Definitely too little. Bird just hit him with a screen. Then gets it back to the head. Coming through and Bird's 14-8. Somebody count how many times I said good pass in this video. Bird hits that field play. I see a lot more intensity. Baseline. Baseline at the left. Hey. Hey, how do you stop that? He's 16. 6'10 with a, a little a little fade to it. Don't tell Mikhail. Hey! Bird trying to close him out. Bird off of the fake and a run. That behind me. But is he a healthy super? Meanwhile, Bird. Gets it back to Bird, takes a three pointer mm. of his own. Gets it to Walton. Bird. That shit automatic, man. That shit is automatic. Shoot it, shoot it. Hand down, man down. Hand down, man down. That boy good, man. And that's where we're going to end this video at, man. We got 15 more minutes of that. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this one out quick, just so I can get to part two, man. But I appreciate you for watching this one with me. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and like this video if you like this video, and go ahead and write some in the comments. Yeah, my question to y'all that I want to end this video on: In today's game, how much is Larry Bird averaging, man? Like that's how I want to end this video on: How much do y'all think Larry Bird were averaging today's game? Because he wasn't shooting that many threes back then. Like, I don't know. Somebody go do the stats for me. I don't want to check right now. But let me know how many uh, threes he averaged for his career. Attempted a game. It probably wasn't no more than like three. Three or four probably. So just imagine today's game where he's shooting like ten of them. Like, I think he personally would average like 30 three plus. But let me know what you think about that. But I appreciate y'all like always. We out.